hello everyone how's it going i hope you all are doing amazing if you're new here hello welcome to my channel i'm the intuitive rose nice to meet you if you're not new here hello and welcome back i'm so happy you joined me again today so today y'all we're going to do a reading on how do strangers view you all right what are some ex uh, first couple impressions that you give off to them okay three piles for you to choose from today we got pile number one pile number two and then pile number three i hope everyone is doing well today all right and also if this video resonates with you feel free to give this video a like feel free to comment i would love to know all right so i'm gonna go right in this order all right so if you chose pawn number one this is your reading so let's see how do strangers view you okay so pawn number one oh you got page of pentacles all right for some of you you guys could work in a mall you could work like i'm thinking of starbucks with all this green here you could work like at a coffee shop or something um i feel like they strangers view you definitely there's a place of work is what i'm getting so a lot of people um this is where you work at okay i feel like a lot of people are viewing you as someone who has like a goal has a dream all right you might talk about it some of you guys might might like um like to do hair you know beauty hair and beauty something like that or is something else maybe a dream of doing your own um creating your own business i just heard fashion show so yeah there's something about like designer clothing in here um yeah i'm getting like princess and the frog vibes you know how like tiana um like her dream was to own a restaurant so this is a big dream here so i feel like this is how strangers view you they see you know you have potential that this job that you're at is just temporary it's just paying the bills for you right now okay um i honestly i'm getting a message about your heart okay especially with all this green here i feel like a lot of you guys are actually very kind your customer service is on point um i'm seeing the thumbs up in here as like you know you take chances because it looks like she's flipping a coin here so i do feel like they also see you as someone who um you know you're you're doing other things that you know may not be your job title um some of you guys could be like a higher up but you know you're you're helping out you know the people you're training or vice versa you know you could be someone that's a trainee and um you know you're doing the manager's job like something like that i feel like they view you as a hard worker here okay page of pentacles this is a job that you probably either just started or again like this customers um or again customers this is how they're viewing you every time they you know come in and see you okay yeah a lot of you guys could like wear the same like work shoes or something something like that here i'm getting I'm also getting art okay so there you definitely have an artistic vibe in here so yeah i feel like right now strangers are viewing you as someone that has a goal um and you're working on it you're saving up for it this could be like customers that you know are willing to put you know a tip in your tip jar some of you guys this might not even be um this might not even be like people that come to your work i feel like this is also um your clientele's friends like people that you don't know know your name i feel like you do something um some kind of work that you do some kind of work that you provide for others um it's like people are like oh who did you know who did your hair who did your nails oh where did you get that from you know i feel like that's how you're coming up in here so strangers are viewing you as someone that has a good product okay so whatever this is you guys it's something that is going to be worth risking worth fighting for okay yes and i just realized she's by wishing well so yeah a lot of customers um i keep saying customers so yeah there's definitely something with work here but a lot of strangers see you fulfilling a wish of yours okay all right so let's see some of you guys could also be young okay because with the page energy um it could be young or again it's just saying you know like starting something new all right like a page energy 
like you're on your first page, your first chapter. Alrighty. So anything else spirit for pawn number one? How do strangers view pawn number one? Please and thank you. Okay, there's something about a shadow here. I feel like a lot of you guys have someone that's always behind you, okay? Or this could be like this person. Mm, some of you guys have like an admirer in here, okay? So this is definitely someone that is always tipping you well, um, complimenting you, like always <laughs> checking you out. Like I'm definitely getting something about a shadow here. Um, but again, this could also talk about like you being always with the same person. All right, so strangers view you as someone that you, all right, every time they see you, you always got, you know, your twin next to you. You always got your friend next to you. You always got your, you know, your your woman, your man next to you, your dog. It could be a pet, you know, anything. There's something um, like that coming up in here. All righty. Anything else, girl? Please and thank you. How do strangers view pawn number one? See, Queen of Pentacles, you guys, it's, I'm telling you, it's something with your job. You guys are very, um, I feel like you're also very quiet, okay? It's like you're very quiet. You have a dreamy energy with you. So, yeah, I do feel like strangers, um, you might not even be aware of like the amount of eyes on you, especially with the pentacles here. A lot of people see you and they see, you know, you take care of your, your outer appearance, okay? Some of you guys, your hair's always done, your makeup, you know, you're dressed very nice. And even for work, I'm like getting an outfit that is still put together well. And it also, um, you have, you know, things that complement your likes as well. So some of you guys, you know, might like chains or you might like bracelets you know rings like stuff like that is what i'm getting like anklets earrings like jewelry you complement it well okay so a lot of strangers actually see you very well well put all right and always working i feel like you're either always working or again you have a, a talent a skill that's going to be um something you know a wish fulfillment for you all right let's get one more please and thank you spirit <clears throat> I'm sorry if I like my voice sounds off you guys like my throat is kind of bothering me <laughs> oh lordy okay yeah oh my gosh y'all look at that three of swords I feel like you guys have an admirer okay it's definitely a masculine admirer someone is like this person's gonna break my heart if I even try to make a move <laughs> y'all ten of cups some of you guys might already actually be married or be in a partnership okay but i feel like yeah with this ten of cups here again this talks about you know happiness fulfillment all right living the dream i feel like this is how strangers are viewing you especially if you guys are in a connection in a relationship they view you as you know this could be oh thank you spirit this could be who that shadow was okay so you know some of you guys are always with you know your partner all right you're always with your family or you know you're always supporting you know a friend something like that you're very supportive in a way okay i feel like a lot of strangers see that you have like your co-workers back okay you're always taking up for someone um yeah it's like you picking up the slack i keep doing this with this because i'm being drawn to like taking a chance you know um yeah i feel like you're well liked okay you're well put is what i'm getting your outer appearance is very you know um very magnetizing so i'm gonna pull a couple from here so let's see pot number one spare please and thank you i feel like there's a couple fantasies in here like some people kind of want to like you know ask for your number they want i'm i'm being drawn to her hair some people want to like touch your hair they want to feel your hair texture something like that yeah because you see how they're like holding hands behind you know i feel like these are people that you would not expect all right some of you guys might know because like i said there's like a, a clue here with the tips here it could also be like compliments all right anything else spirit i feel like i shouldn't have put this in this bag let me put it in here all right the pile number one spirit thank you we have sensitivity 
We got healers touch. Didn't I say someone wants to touch you? Oh Lord. We have protective. Yes. You stick up for your um your clients, your co-workers. They see you as someone very nice. We have one and done. All right. So yeah, you are someone that gets the job done. You don't need to be told, you know, what to do twice. Nothing. I feel like you're very independent. That could also be why I was getting someone quiet. You're an independent worker, but you're also a team player at the same time. Okay. So yeah, and also with this one and done you guys i feel like some of you guys might have already like turned someone down and they like they're not they are so scared to take another chance to like reach out um or make you know a move because they feel like you know you're kind of hard to impress okay so that's what i got for you pot number one if this resonated with you feel free to let me know i would love to know with that being said love and light and bye bye all right so if you chose pot number two this is your reading so let's see how do strangers view you okay so you guys do not forget to give this video a like if it resonates with you and also comment if this also resonates with you okay so you guys got two of cups wow oh two two some of you guys could be the age 22 you could be young or you could just you know be in your 20s okay some of you guys could also be a twin you could have twins yeah okay so first message i'm getting about how do strangers view you okay there's a message instantly about your hair all right i'm getting a, a hairstyle that is very different okay i'm almost getting like you know like that lion look you know it's very very um thick very full um yeah your hair texture is definitely giving volume <laughs> okay um also, some of you guys might like show off a lot of skin. I feel like a lot of strangers are viewing, you know, you know, your body. They're they're looking at, you know, your body. Okay, I'm also getting a message. Someone could have uh, hurt their foot. It could be like a a boot on you or something. I feel like strangers are yeah noticing, um, you know that situation going on so yeah some of you guys could have gotten like injured or something like that okay but other than that i feel like with this energy of two of cups here i'm getting this energy of like you know partnerships genuine you know connections um a lot of people see you're very friendly i'm definitely getting a young energy a young vibe in here Also, some of you guys could be, like, interested in the same, like, you know, gender. You, you don't have to be. I know that's a sensitive topic. I probably will get that one person who's like, I'm not into that. This is just a general reading, you guys. But there's a group of you that I feel like this could be another thing. Like, I, there is an energy of, like, looking at, like, your skin, your body, and, like, your hair. Like, it's looking at you in a sexual way. Like, that's what I'm getting with this Two of Cups here. Look at it. Like... It looks like they're in love, you know? Um, so that's what I'm getting. So in front of you guys, this is really people that are admiring you. <laughs> admiring, like, they want to get to know you. They want to talk to you. Yeah, some of you guys might like to show off your back a lot, okay? All right. So I also feel like a lot of strangers... Some of you guys could maybe walk with headphones in yeah like even when you're grocery shopping you know I, I actually seen someone the other day I was in Target and someone had headphones in I'm like oh wow that's a that's a good way to just you know do what you gotta do <laughs> don't get distracted um, so yeah there's something about that I feel like you know when you're also out you're like on the run like you're on the go there's no stopping you so a lot of strangers feel like you know you came here to do what you got to do you do not want no distractions so yeah there is an energy of you kind of having your hands full whether that is actually like you know you got bags in your hand you got something to drink you know you got you know you're on the phone like something like that i feel like there's this energy of like you know it's almost going to be dismissive, all right, if I even try to talk to you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. But yeah, two of cups here, strangers are liking, you know, they're liking the qualities you have. Um, yeah. 
some of you guys it's like your perfume it's your cologne it's like um that's what's drawing them because there's they're sharing headphones here so it could be like oh wow you know i i haven't smelled that in so long so it's almost like a nostalgia kind of thing like people strangers see you or smell you it's like you remind them of something and this is why they're like probably always staring at you because you see how they're like staring at each other so yeah you might notice a lot of strangers staring at you because you actually remind them of someone it could be reminding them of someone they used to know you know <laughs> oh my gosh y'all now i'm hearing that song you didn't have to cut me off <laughs> lord y'all some of you y'all this could actually be like exes but look at this six of cups y'all know six of cups all right y'all know six of cups is the blast from the past energy all right so yeah you remind them it's a, it's a nostalgia in this energy that's so funny that what is that song called it's um somebody that i used to know yes so I feel like, you guys, this is actually someone that you probably used to know, but you probably don't remember. So it could be like a, a school friend. Um, this could be, you know, when you were younger. That could be when you were in your 20s, you know, when you were in college. Something like that is what I'm getting, high school. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone definitely is it's giving crush like I have a crush on you kind of vibe it's funny I was getting that for pile number one look at that six of cups came out but it came out in reverse so yeah I feel like again this is definitely someone you might not remember this is someone that knows you but you don't remember them okay um, that I'm getting specifically and then another group of you the strangers that's um, you know how they're seeing you as someone that they used to know and i feel like it could also be like a deja vu kind of thing y'all know like have y'all have y'all ever like seen someone and was like oh my gosh i feel like i know this person but i i don't know where i don't know how that could be what's going on here if any of you guys you know don't resonate with the you know past ex kind of thing or past classmate <clears throat> So yeah, it could be a situation like that. Like maybe you guys actually known each other in the past life. So there is a connection here. Yeah, it could be a vibe because like I said, with this two of cups here, it's like they're both staring at each other. So I feel like, you know, this could be someone that you could possibly be into as well. Yeah, if you get to know them. All right, and definitely something with your hair. All right, so let's see how, <laughs> didn't I say there's a crush here? Yep, ace of cups. Um, so let's see, how do strangers view pile number two? If any of you guys feel drawn to watch pile number one, definitely watch pile one. Because I feel like this is a similar energy. It's just, this is mainly like people are staring at you because you remind them of something and they like you. All right, so let's see, anything else for it? How do strangers view pile number two? Please and thank you didn't i say pile number one lord this is literally what came out in pile number one so yes definitely go watch pile number one didn't i say there's a lion like a lion hairstyle in here you guys could also have like really really like i'm getting coils like curls okay so your hair is coming up in here a lot some of you guys you know y'all rocking hairstyles okay um the queen of wands is also someone that's known you know for her beauty as well like especially you know that sexual energy like i said that i was picking up on okay yeah um also feel like some of you guys could have like a, a big butt here because i'm being drawn to like how you know her butt's here and then this you know she kind of has a dress on but it's, it's showing a little hopper back there so i feel like a lot of you you're being you know stared at because of your beauty all right and even my mask is out here okay it's because of how good you look okay i'm gonna pull one more card <laughs> the emperor yeah it's like i i feel like i know you pawn number two like you stand out <laughs> this is how they view you you stand out 
look at this the emperor you see how there's all these people around them this is how strangers view you it's it's different with you it is different the hermit card here um some of you guys could really just vibe alone okay like i i was getting that earlier like every time you know you're out somewhere it's like you know what you gotta do some of you guys are really like cut off as well like you could have headphones in you could be on your phone um you might not really speak that much you know when someone says hey how's it going you know you're like hi that's it bye um so yeah i feel like that's an energy with you okay you're very much in independent to yourself yeah we got queens the emperor here it's like i don't really need help you know <laughs> that's what i'm getting i feel like a lot of people also they're viewing you as someone that could work a really good job because with the emperor and the queen of pentacles here you see how like she's crowned so yeah i feel like a lot of um strangers are actually questioning like they're curious that's what i'm getting with that six of cups reverse is like there's this curiosity they're curious to know like what you do for work because it's like whatever you're wearing it's very you know it's it looks pricey all right definitely dollar signs okay yeah that's what i'm getting all right so let's pull from here as well how is pile number two viewed by strangers there's an energy like you know you I feel like people question also if you got children because with the six of cups this could talk about children as well but it's in reverse so whether you don't got children or they're like hmm I wonder if pile number two got a child like stuff like that is what I'm getting or again you could be you could have children you could have twins like something like that you could have two girls two boys all right so we got you got your own place didn't I say there's something about like you stand out and you look like you wear pricey stuff you know even if it's not you guys you're you know whatever you wear it's it looks like you know you spent a good amount of money on it it's because of the um what you put together okay we have glowy skin all right we have eye contact but it did come out reverse didn't i say there is something about like you know you not keeping really much um like you don't want distractions okay you don't really want distractions it's like you will probably make eye contact because they are making eye contact but it's like you'll probably just keep turning the other way you know like i feel like it's just that quick second but then that eye contact is like mesmerizing you know what i mean and that's what i feel like with this tool cups here like spirit is saying like you will actually probably like this person all right um i feel like you guys are friendly I do get that impression like if someone was to really be like hey I like your hair I feel like you would keep a conversation with them but it's like this is again how strangers are viewing you so this is you know what they're thinking and stuff so I feel like a lot of people will feel like you know you don't want to be bothered and then we have bone structure oh my phone's about to die we have bone structure okay so some of you guys could have like that jawline um, or again you're very toned um, and then there's something about your back here so it could be like the back dimples as well you guys could you know like to show off you know your skin your your belly you know for the ladies that um, like to wear crop tops and for my masculines I like to wear you know those shirts that show off you know your muscles and stuff like I'm getting like stuff like that okay they're like paying attention to every little detail like this is someone that admires you all right so <laughs> it's so funny look I see no drama I'm gonna take it no drama then I say they're like she looks like or he looks like he doesn't want to be distracted okay so you guys are also like you're a fast walker or a fast talker something like that all right, so I think that's all I have for you, pawn number two. If this resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I would love to know. With that being said, love and light, and bye bye. All right, so if you chose pawn number three, this is your reading. So let's see how do strangers view you, pawn number three. Alrighty, so oh, you guys got the eight of pentacles. All right, first things first. This is definitely the pile that works out, okay? As y'all can see, he's lifting weights. All right, some of you guys, you know, especially my masculine's watching, you guys can like lift very heavy, okay? So you're very like bulky, husky, um, yeah, <laughs> definitely is what I'm getting. 
Um, yep, and I'm also getting the message about like, whoa, okay, yeah, for my feminines out here watching. Um, some of you guys could be like top heavy, okay? So I feel like a lot of strangers, you know, they're viewing you as someone that takes care of your body, you have a nice body, you have a nice figure towards you, okay? Um, some of you guys might like stay at the gym, okay? Like that is literally, you know, your go-to every day, it could be every other day, something like that is what I'm getting. Or this could even be at home workouts, okay? So I feel like a lot of strangers, you know, they're viewing you as someone that works out because, you know, your body. Some of you guys might not even work out, but it's, you know, your body looks great, okay? Um, some of you guys might also, like, have, like, a really low cut. You might not even have, like, you know, um, what is, what did they call it? I forgot what they called it, but you guys know that, um... <clears throat> that actress what's her name is it rose or something i forgot her name but it's the one that dated with with khalifa with khalifa i think that's how you pronounce it yeah she was the one had like blonde hair but it was like if it, it looked great honestly um so you guys are rocking a low cut okay um some of you guys might color your hair as well i'm getting a blue a very very baby like a light baby blue it could be that you guys are definitely coloring your hair all right i'm getting bright colors i'm even seeing red yeah so i feel like this is how strangers are viewing you that you are um you like to explore you like to explore different things you create um the way you create um I'm sorry, the way you express yourself is very creative. That's what I'm getting. Okay. You want to know what I'm also picking up on? I feel like a lot of you guys may benefit working out, like, by yourself. Literally, by yourself. And that's so funny. Like, all three paws, I really got independence. So, I love that. All right. Um, that could be a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> But, um, I love, you know, that independence, but I feel like, yeah, you're definitely, this is how strangers are viewing you. Every time they see you, you're by yourself. You could work out by yourself. I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys give off this impression that you don't really want to be bothered. That's really what I was getting for all, really two piles. I was getting that energy, but this is how I'm feeling with you, pawn number three as well. Okay. It's like, you are more focused when you're in your, you know, in the zone. So you rather, you know, you rather just go at your own pace rather than someone else's pace. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So this is how strangers are viewing you. Some of you guys, this could be mainly, you know, the people that you um, are around at the gym, okay? I feel like a lot of people are actually studying what you do, you know, your workouts and stuff. Um... They might not actually do it in front of you, but I feel like they're taking like a mental note like, oh, okay, like I see he's using this for that, okay, or her, you know, that's what I'm getting. All right, I feel like a lot of you guys are really tall as well, okay? So yeah, definitely a height in here. You guys can either be like really short or really tall. <laughs> All right, so let's see for pile number three. <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel like some of you guys may also work like on cars. There's something about your hands, but I'm getting like they're messy, like messy hands, like they're hands that, you know, not afraid to get dirty. So you know how like if you just worked on a car, you have all that oil and stuff on your hands. Like there's a message about that. So this is how strangers are viewing you. They see, you know, your hands, you know, clearly you do a lot with them, okay? Um, definitely getting a lot of hard work energy in here. And also, Eight of Pentacles talks about consistency, dedication. So you're definitely doing something repetitively, okay? So this is how strangers are viewing you. They're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, two weeks ago, I seen them doing the same thing. Or two weeks ago, like, you know, I see a difference. I see a change. So it's like you've been working proactively you know that's what i'm getting like i'm doing this you guys <laughs> as if like you know the wheels turning for you i feel like you guys are definitely on like a you know you're on a roll literally you're on a roll um some of you guys you know you're also going back to school like i feel like i mean i'm seeing someone like um 
um, like under a tree writing it could be studying as well um, so yeah I feel like a lot of you are being viewed as someone that is like heavy in the books you're learning something you're working on something or you're always working okay so let's see anything else but please and thank you for part number three we got six of swords so with the six of swords here and the three of swords oh gosh all right so i feel like actually a lot of people um a lot of strangers there's this energy of someone still knowing you okay so i feel like yeah if you felt drawn to watch part two watch part number two because i feel like there's this energy of like moving away like a lot of strangers either view you as someone that just moved somewhere new like you're somewhere you know that you know is foreign to you or um again you have completely removed yourself from a group okay so some of you guys really do work independently now and it could have to do with you know dealing with you know too much crap you know betrayal you know people breaking your trust and like i feel like right now you're really on a roll and i feel like that's working for you right now okay so this is how strangers are viewing you you know someone that's really on a roll like you're going to calmer places you're going to what works for you and i feel like it's really just i'm getting a me 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 energy all right and it's not even in a selfish way like i feel like you guys are actively working on yourselves and that's beautiful okay um yeah so again back to the whole like muscles and stuff like i'm i'm definitely getting pile number two's energy in here so there's definitely a lot of lust in here as well okay so this is how strangers are viewing you like they're like, kind of fantasizing you know about you especially with the you know clouds here definitely head in the head in the clouds but like mm -hmm, yep ace of cups i feel like you have people like fluttered you know intrigued <laughs> You might notice a lot of people maybe like stutter when they talk to you or nervous around you. It is actually because, you know, they're, they view you as someone that, you know, is kind of out of their league, you know? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. That's a, that's an intense energy, not intense in a bad way. That is an energy, again, like you are on the roll, all right? <laughs> Nothing can stop me. <laughs> And now I'm here. I'm all the way up. That song. Okay, then we have Nine of Swords, y'all. Oh, Lord. Y'all got a lot of eyes on you, okay? You got a lot of eyes on you, but you see how she's covered up? I feel like a lot of you are not even interested. There's a single solo energy, like I said, in here, okay? So a lot of strangers are viewing you as someone that has options. You have people that stare at you, admire you, come up to you, talk to you, but you pay them really, you know, you don't give them the attention that they're looking for, okay? A lot of you guys, I feel like you're also on a journey of, you know, you could be, like, abstinent, or you could just be, again, you refraining from certain things you have removed yourself from certain people activities you no longer do the same things you're doing something else better for your better in yourself okay some of you guys this could have to do with your finances as well it doesn't have to do with you know just your body okay so yeah didn't i say there's an energy of people still knowing you in here so i feel like the strangers are actually people you know that you just don't talk to okay so pile number two and pile number three was really like that x energy <coughs> excuse me you guys <clears throat> my gosh my throat <coughs> all right so yeah i feel like you know with pile number two and pile number three you guys were definitely um there's an energy of people that you just no longer associate with so this is why they're coming up as strangers all right because they don't know this you all right we have ace of cups i feel like a lot of you are loving yourself yep ten of cups some of you guys could be in a partnership but i feel like you know you're doing a lot more on your own it's an independent energy with you guys all right so let's pull from here <clears throat> all right and see how her eyes are shut i feel like you're not paying a lot of people you know any any attention a lot of strangers really view you as someone that you know you don't crave any of that you don't want any of that you have a lot of people that actually follow you look up to you yeah because look at the ten of cups there's fishes behind them you know like you have people that are really copying you but i feel like it's in a good way like especially if you work out 
you know, some people might not know what to do. I used to do that all the time. You know, I see someone doing a different work. I'm like, okay, I'll do that next time. All right, let's see. Anything else for part number three? <clears throat> we got lips. Then I say there's a sexual energy. We have inner strength. I love it. So, yes, you're strong. You're mentally strong. Then I say that's an intense energy. It's intense. It's hard to be in that energy of dedication, consistency, you know, because that energy is like you're going to experience a lot of ups and downs. But it's like even through those ups and downs, you're still proceeding. That's very, very, very good. So that's beautiful. Keep going, love. Keep going. Because you're going to go far with that mindset, that energy. We have, I love it. Y'all, look at that. Consistent. Your consistency, okay, is what's really drawing people towards you. All right, I'm going to pull one more. <clears throat> My throat is bothering me. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, I feel, I feel like y'all don't talk much. Oh, I love it. Motivational. Okay, so it's like your body, your words, you know, your attitude. This is what's alluring strangers, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys might not really like this. Like I'm I'm hearing repellent, like repel this energy <laughs> because it's like you just want to focus and you don't really want all this attention on you. And also some of you guys have an accent, okay? that could be another thing all right it's the way you're talking um yeah <laughs> that's a weakness for sure so i think that's all i have for you pond number three if this resonated with you feel free to let me know feel free to comment i would love to know with that being said love and light and bye bye